What's the plan then, oh mighty planner? You're the one with the grand ideas. The gangs, the fights, even the outfits you'll wear. Perhaps you should lead the way. If you insist. What is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here, we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara, Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor, too? There are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. I need you to save them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence, something you clearly need. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm late for an appointment. What are these terms? We accept. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Chatter and more work. Next one to utter a word spent the night trying to the fence. I'm here to help. Thanks, Mr. Fry. There's hey, a fine wire up this man has a hat. I'm right here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
Must be one of the clinkers. A good place to start. Place to start. to want my employer's attention, Mr. Fry. Oh, I positively crave it. But you'll do for now. As you like. Mr. Abelard. Well, we tried. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. What's this? God's sake! Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? Sergeant Abelard, at your service. I presume you're the Fry twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. Get off me! Not a 
Bloody hell! Thought you could get away with that, did you? Oh, for God! Oh, bloody hell! See him behind bars. Thank you. A stick! Oh. Oh, 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 London's blighters will be armed to the teeth. No bobbies in sight. Good. Distribute the dynamite then, and carefully. Very good, sir. We want this to come into the blighter's hands without harm. No mishaps. There you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Kaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? Here. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greenie? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies. Mr. Rexford Kaylock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fight. No Kaylock. Hmm. No match.
appears to be broken. Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. Whitechapel is no longer in the hands of the blighters. You now have the chance to join our ranks. We welcome all who would stand up to Steric and his cutthroats. I'd rather throw myself to the tracks and run Bertha another mile for that doughty bow bag. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel, hello, fancy pants. How do you meet you? I'm Evie Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I ain't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. <laughs> then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. You know, a might of money goes a mickle bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with the purse you bring. You talk of a store in London. Well, now's your chance. That there map shows who to speak to. Old friends, if you will. Give me a whiff of that sterling, and maybe you can save us all from having to lay down our knife and fork before we're ready. Now, enough shop talk. Believe Mr. Green said there was someone he wanted you to meet. 